I'm just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Take a look. If you're suffering from this, especially if you took this, but if you're suffering from this, this is word out on the street. So, do you mind to tell me your name and uh, like uh, you do have a, you do have a cancer before, right? Yeah, it's endorsed so by this. So, can you tell me the story, please? My name is Ernest Best, and I was diagnosed with stage four highly aggressive plasmatoid carcinoma cancer, and I was told I had six months to live, okay. and there was nothing they could do for me. Chemo, radiation, no kind of treatments. They told me to go home and die. And so I quit my job and came home, and I'd done some research into cancer and found a story about Joe Tipton from Edmond, Oklahoma, who the veterinarians had told him about the dog dewormer with the drug benzodiazepine in it that had killed his cancer. He's still alive today, five years later. And so I watched his, watched his videos and stuff. I started doing more research. I went to the to tractor supply and bought $250 worth of Safeguard dog dewormer, and I started taking it. I went and had PET scans, CAT scans, MRIs, and uh, exploratory procedures up into my bladder. The tumor died. I passed the tumor out, and I'm totally cancer-free today because of the drug Finbenzidol. Okay, that's the dog medicine. That's the medicine that's in the dog, in the dog dewormer. Okay. It's called Finbenzidol. F-E-N-B-E-N-D-O-Z-A-L-O-L-E. Okay, so we can buy this medicine online? You can buy the Amazon. pills from okay. Amazon. Okay. You can get 444 milligram pills. You can get 90 of them for $109. Okay, so we have to eat how Take one in the morning uh -huh. and one at night. Okay, one in the morning and one in the night, right? Yes. Okay. That's what I started. In the, do the dog dewormer, I started, I've done two a day, one package in the morning, one package at night. I went to OU Cancer Center, mm -hmm. and they done ca four CAT scans. They didn't see no cancer. So how, how the doctor said after that? They said, I, I don't know how to explain it. Just like, they said it's just miracle? My, yeah, they said it's a miracle. My, oh, when you tell someone that a medicine for dogs cured your cancer, you better be ready for some skeptics. But Joe Tippin says it did save his life and others. And now even cancer researchers are open to the possibility it might be true. My neck, my liver, my pancreas, my bladder, in my bones, it was everywhere. Two years ago, Joe Tippin says he was told to go home, call hospice, and say his goodbyes. The doctors were unanimous. He was going to die of small cell lung cancer. Once that kind of cancer goes that far afield, the odds of survival are less than 1%, and the median life expectancy is three months. Tippin says he went from 220 pounds to 110, but that was January of 2017. Today, Tippins is very much alive, and what he credits for his survival has doctors scratching their heads and the rest of us raising eyebrows. It's about half the people think I'm just crazy, and half the people want to know more and dig deeper. Tippin says he got a tip, not from a pharmacist, but a veterinarian, and in his desperation, he turned from people medicine to dog medicine, specifically fibindazole, or what you give a dog when it has worms. And the truth is stranger than fiction, you know. Just three months so later, parasites. <laughs> Tippin says his cancer was gone. I'm usually skeptical. I mean, I was and maybe still am about uh, this one. With it. So is cancer caused by parasites? Because even Dr. Lee Merritt um, discussed this, that it's caused by parasites. It's, it's not caused by what we were told, you know, for the longest time. Parasites. It's just a question. There's a lot of, there's an interesting background to this. Cancer researchers like Stephen Prescott are skeptical, but they also are not dismissing his anti-parasitics potential. He says Tippins is not the first person to potentially benefit, and maybe not the last. Scientists at many credible places have done work on this for years. But was it the dog dewormer, or was it something else? Tippins took the dog medicine with daily vitamin E supplements and CBD oil. He was also taking an experimental cancer-fighting drug. But Tippins says out of the 1,100 patients on that clinical trial, he was the only one cleared of cancer. Tippins says he was saved by the dog dewormer, and he plans to take it for the rest of his life. Oh, my insurance company spent $1.2 million on me with traditional means.
before I switched to a $5 a week medicine, it actually saved me.